There's a lot of companies out there that want to control your food, and we don't want to do that. We want to give you control of your food back. I am personally stoked about these towers. I think they look really good. There can always be stuff done better, right? Better and better and better. What is the saying? Uh, better is the enemy of good enough. And one of the big problems that you have with startups is that they always search for the better and they never release the good enough and they never start getting traction. So what we're gonna be doing is actually trying to get that traction. These towers are actually at the point where we can get them out there to certain customers. Now they're gonna cost more, of course, because they're still, you know, they got some more refinements to make and we wanna make them cost less. But these are cool. They are cool. Not only are they cool, we got the cool lighting on them. We're starting to get aesthetics. We're starting to think through those things. There's not really any major defects uh, on them. If, if you want to check out what defects we have, I'd encourage you to go over our, to our Patreon page where we have over 90, over 90 behind the scene videos that I was taking while I was getting these all put together. I, I simply could not do YouTube videos, set up everything, get the lighting just right, get the camera, do the editing, uh, figure out the music, put that all up and hit the deadlines that we had to make. Uh, so I apologize to all of you out there that have been following along for so long. Uh, but I did have my phone going and 
I, I kept mobile pictures as I went. And uh, so if you want to check out the unedited, raw, just get it up there so everyone can see behind the scenes. Like I said, there's over 90 of them on uh, Patreon that you can go over and check out. Things are really starting to look up for us. I mean, we're feeling the momentum shift. We got some people who actually want to buy. We're actually looking for 10 soft launch customers right now. These are early adopters um, that are essentially investing in the company in another way by buying one of our products. And then we're going to soft launch with it, test everything, test our uh, systems, the enterprise systems to be able to handle the sale as well as the production, manufacturing, logistics, cycle count, inventory management, all those things. We have to test all of that and then we have to test customer support and figure out everything that we have in place there if it's good enough or if it needs to be fixed. So the next step here is we need to harvest everything that's in the towers uh, and clean them all up and then I actually have a few things that I want to make updates to these particular four towers that I've already built. Now everything going forward will have all my red lines in it. So red lines are the things that I'm like, hey, I want to do this differently. Hey, you know, here's a problem. Let's fix that. Uh, and we're going to fix all those going forward. But for these particular towers, there's a few changes that I want to make and I'll share those with you as we get into them. I've got a bunch of engineering work to do where I got to take all those red lines, integrate them into a design build package, procurement package, design build procurement package, I should say. And then I'll be able to release that to the manufacturer partner where we're trying to get a contract set up right now. Basically, we're on a nice slow ramp towards production. We're not at production and we're not trying to jump into production. There's what's called low rate initial production, which is uh, where you, you think you got everything kind of figured out. Uh, you're very confident in it and you're actually all your systems and tools and employees and facilities and everything are all in place and you're you're really going through exactly what you would be doing for production but you still have mistakes you're still finding things you don't have it all fine-tuned you don't have your long-term suppliers yet that's low rate initial production or LRIP for short and then there's pre LRIP pre LRIP is these 10 customers that we want to release to those are the ones where we we think we have the design we know we're going to have challenges, so we want to have customers that are understanding of that. We're upfront with it. They know where we're at. They know what they're getting. It is going to cost more, but they're really investing in the company. They're investing in the idea, and they get something tangible in return. We're going to be setting up a major product demo. It's going to be in Houston, Texas, and it's going to be sometime in the very early part of 2021, so next year. So, I mean, just a few, geez, a few weeks away. So as we get ready for this big event down in Houston, one of the things that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go through the shipping process uh, using the double decker. I'm actually gonna, uh, after we harvest, I'm gonna disassemble the double decker and we're gonna take it in and have it crated, have it packaged, get all the cost data for that, uh, see what the recommendations are on, on ways to make things cost less. And then we're actually gonna ship it down in Houston. We're gonna reassemble it. Uh, we're gonna have somebody who's not me uh, go through that process. I'm going to create videos putting it on our app that has all those help files on it so we'll actually start populating those help files uh, so people can follow along and then we'll just start as we get those help files put in we just start making them better as well. So we're really we're really starting to make those steps. Now the interesting thing is the the competitors that we have out there they have really gone after the commercial side and most of them have failed, quite honestly. There's a handful of them, plenty uh, is one. Arrow Gardens is another. Um, and Dr. Nate and Zip Grow Tower has actually been procured. So their investment phase is over and they're living life happily now. Um, but there's only been a handful that have gone after consumer products or have made it uh, doing commercial. But most of them fail and most of them go after commercial. So it's interesting that God has shut us down on what we were going to do commercially. And now we're really focused on these uh, grow towers and coming soon to grow boxes. Uh, the 13th Lucky 13 design iteration is coming up on those. So we have a lot going for us. And I think where we're at is where we're supposed to be, quite honestly. And I'm very excited about it, seeing these steps. The foundations are being laid, a nice solid foundation. And our mission is to help provide sustainable food and energy independence to local communities around the world. That hasn't changed really. Uh, in fact, the only thing that we've changed since we started HAB1 was we added the word independence uh, because there's a lot of companies out there that want to control your food and we don't want to do that. We actually want to give you your food. We want to give you control of your food back, make it easy for you to know how to grow food and not be uh, tied into a, a system where you have to go to Walmart or Whole Foods or Costco or anywhere else uh, to get your food or be dependent on them. Not to say that we're going to replace those things. I think they'll be with us forever. 
but uh, we don't want you to have to be dependent on them. We want you to have independence, not dependence. So even our systems, they're all meant to work away from us. Not, they don't have to be connected to what we do at Eden. There's lots of benefits if you do connect in, um, but you don't have to. And I think that's a great thing. It has been a tremendous battle getting here. We are not done. In fact, we are digging in and we're going forward. We are moving forward and I think we're starting to get some momentum. So that's gonna be it for this video. I'm really, really grateful for everyone for following along. Really appreciate all your support. Pray that you're all safe out there. May God bless you and your families and sending your prayers our way for these next steps. We're entering what's called the Valley of Death for startups. And we'll talk about that more as we get into it. Um, but this is the time when startups uh, either die or, uh, or they make it out. And we're just entering that valley. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks again, everyone, for following along. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the like button. Get, ring that bell so you get notified when I release new videos. This is The Real Martian. Out.